The two Walmart workers accused of a fatal shooting that happened at the Fayetteville store will not get out of jail anytime soon. A judge denied their bond. Fox News Doug Evans was at this hearing and has the latest. In this preliminary hearing in Fayette County, we learn new information about the shooting, the suspects, and especially the nine-year-old little girl who was struck by the gunfire. Um, she was shopping for candy. I mean, what an innocent thing for a child to be doing. District Attorney Marie Broder argued that Adrian Jelks and girlfriend Sandra Romero Nunez were a danger and should not be let out on bond. At a hearing, we learned from Fayetteville police that they are both Walmart employees, both working, both wearing their blue smocks, when Jelks allegedly opened fire at the Fayetteville store entryway in March, killing Antavius Holder. In fact, police say a total of 17 shots were fired as Holder tried to run into the store for safety, but was hit in the back. That nine-year-old little girl, the DA says, was shopping for candy, was also hit. When a child can't shop for candy in a Walmart safely, that's a problem. And, and we intend to find justice for her and for our deceased victims as well. The detective testified that Walmart surveillance video captured the shooting and employees identified Jelks. He says the video shows Romero Nunez and Jelks arriving at the store together, standing near each other at the entryway when Jelks opened fire. And then they ran away together, got in the car together, and drove off. Her attorney tells Fox 5 she didn't know that Jelks Mr. was going Jelks, to shoot Holder. Um, D.A. Broder says the evidence shows they were in it together from the start. But it would be the state's contention that they acted, as you said, in concert, or the legal term would be parties to a crime. The district attorney tells me that not only was the little girl hit in the face, but doctors were unable to remove the bullet, saying it is safer for now to leave it where it is. I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.